Adam. And I'm Jay. Welcome to the Movie Preview Review, where we review movies based on only watching their previews. And today we're going to react, review, and riff for the new trailer for the new Mr. Rogers documentary feature, Won't You Be My Neighbor? Yeah. Yeah, somebody requested this for us. They sure did, and thanks for that. Thank you. But I think you're trying to trick us into crying. Yeah. You, we're a pretty emotional guy. We are! We've been tearing up over a lot of Marvel trailers uh, lately. And uh, this one, we were, like, Mr. Rogers is, like, very special to my our generation. Yes. So. And he should be to everyone else's, quite frankly. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they have them available, like, on, a, like, a streaming service for kids nowadays. But if they don't, they should. Because this is time of, like, this is timeless material. Of yeah. Just a friendly guy. Just teaching kids lessons. So. All right, let's just hop in. Here we go. I think we just got to. A television program for children made its unauspicious debut on station WQED in Pittsburgh. Its host, Fred Rogers. Mr. Rogers? Yeah. I want to tell you something. What would you like to tell I like you. I like you, my dear. Thank you very much for telling me that. If you take all of the elements that make good television and do the exact opposite, you have Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Low production values, simple set, unlikely star. Yet, it worked. Hello. I've always felt that I didn't need to put on a funny hat or jump through the hoop to have a relationship with a child. He was always trying to get a message across in every show. A week on death. What does assassination mean? A divorce. Some people get married, and after a while, they're so unhappy that they don't want to be married anymore. He was radical. I know everyone says that, but he was radical. They didn't want black people to come and swim in their swimming pools. My being on the program was a statement for Fred. A neighborhood was a place where, at times, that you felt worried, scared, unsafe, would take care of you. He had a singular vision of kindness and love. Love is at the root of everything. All learning, all relationships, love or the lack of it. Children have very deep feelings, just the way everybody does. There must be times when you do feel blue. I'm not feeling blue right now, though. Me neither. <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? Well, I suppose it's an invitation. It's an invitation for somebody to be close to you. The greatest thing that we can do is to help somebody know that they're loved and capable of loving. Won't you please, won't you please Please won't you be my neighbor. Well. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can make it through that movie. No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, God. Oh, I hope you guys are happy. <laughs> oh. I hope you're happy. I hope. Oh, the emotions. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. He was such a wonderful person. And that show, I didn't truly understand when I was a kid. Hey, you know, oh, here comes Trolley. And then yeah. we're off to the land of make believe. Uh, meow, 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 King Friday. Like, <laughs> I, I, if I'm being honest, looking back at that show, I, I really did love that show. But sometimes, like, even as a kid, like when they would go to the land of make believe, I'd be like, "He doesn't have to meow all the time. Can we? Can he not?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, meow, I meow, didn't meow. love. I didn't love the land of make believe. I didn't love it. I loved how they got there. I was like, "I want to ride on that little trolley. That looks awesome. That looks great." And then get there, and be like, "Ah, yeah, the owl's kind of creepy, and the prince. Yeah, the production value was a little, a little subpar on those, but." Uh, the sugar beet episode, the one where we got to watch the crayons being made, just so good. Also, every once in a while, uh, guys, you gotta be careful what you put on the internet, in good and bad ways. In that, every once in a while, someone puts 
like the uh, when Mr. Rogers uh, speaks uh, to uh, Congress about the importance of public television, and if you ever watch that, sometimes people just put it up there, and it makes me cry really hard every time because he's such a sweet and tender man, and he really does such a nice job of defending what he does on that television program, and it's amazing. It's like that person that every once in a while just posts uh, the video of all the, the pets coming back at the end of Homer Bound. <laughs> and it's just like, no, you don't, you don't just get to do that. You don't just get to post that because I was just having a normal day. And now I'm just like, really not? I'm, I'm, I'm a mess in my kitchen because I watched Shadow. Like the, the kid realized that Shadow isn't coming back and Shadow probably didn't make it. And he just like, he becomes an adult and he realizes de- death is an inevitability. And Shadow didn't make it. And then Shadow comes. Come on, forget about it. Yeah, just Mr. Rogers being like, hey, kindness is important. It's just like, you're right. <laughs> you're right. How am I supposed to go be a human? Uh. <sighs> yep. Yep. Man, we... If there was... We really need Mr. Rogers. We really do. We really do. Nowadays, we really, really do. Because, honestly... As a people, we're kind of jaded. And Mr. Rogers defied jade, the jade. Defied the jade. In that you would, we would all expect a guy like that to have like demons in his closet and like be kind of a mean dude mm-hmm. behind the scenes and it's all an act. But he was one of those people that was just like, no, he is a light and he is showing it in his own way and there's no dim in it. Nope. Nope. Especially... In the, in the age of where we've had some, uh, not child stars, uh, um, well, child stars, but like uh, actors and you know, people, personalities in the, the Sesame Streets and the, you know, all, yeah. all the, the children's entertainment stuff turn out to be not as great as we all hoped they, yeah. they would be. Um, and this, and that was never a question. And also, I forgot how, like, punk rock he was about how, like, about how, uh, he was very punk rock about his kindness, in that or in his, like wanting to make the make being a child, okay, and helping kids. But yeah, he did an episode after the Kennedys got killed. Like he did an assassination episode. And it was like, and he had puppets talking about it, and like try and helping kids wrap their heads around that. Like he talked about divorce. You know who was talking about divorce in the seventies? No one. No one was. No one. Nope. And Mr. Rogers was like, no, like, kid, this is something kids have to deal with. Mm-hmm. We need to properly equip them for this. And he did it with a tiger puppet and a cat that meowed a bunch. Meow, meow, meow. Kennedy assassination. Meow, meow, meow. You joke, but that's kind of how it went. <laughs> I know. He was my favorite character. I don't know why. Really? Yeah. Oh, he was my least. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, I hated it. Meow, meow, meow. King I hated Friday, it. Meow, meow. Oh, uh, I like King Freda. I like their little house. It was a cool house. Oh, man. Oh, the... The, All the ticker. Tears, man. Yeah, All the this feels. is, uh... Yes. Uh, hopefully this, this documentary does uh, amazingly well. Yeah. Uh, I don't... Uh, it, guys, if there is... If you guys are aware, if you have kids and you know that Mr. Rogers is somewhere out there, like on... If it's still on like uh, yeah. PBS or if it's on you know Netflix or Hulu or somebody has it, they can uh, actually Twitch show it. Twitch streams it sometimes. Do they really? Yeah. Wow, that's a that's great because I we need Mr. Rogers. We truly need him. And uh, yes. Oh boy. Uh wow. That's that's the first non nerdy trailer that uh, tears were shed for. Yeah, I actually really want to see this. Yeah. I mean, and with with a group of loved ones, so that we can uh, cry and hug uh, together. Yeah. Over this one. Ooh. Ooh. Good. Good. Thank you, whoever made this. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. And well timed. And also thank you for uh, the person who uh, told us to do this one. Thanks for bringing us to our attention. Oh, I'm all leaky. I'm all leaky. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Well, I think the well. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I think that's it for uh, us, guys. Right. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We have four thousand subs. That was fun. Oh my god! Thanks we for did. subbing. Thank you so much. We're, we 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 want to hit five thousand before the summer. That'd I'm be, just putting it out there. Just throwing it to the universe. Just just secreting it out there. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, like, subscribe, let us know what you think. If you got some movies you want us to do, like this one, not yeah. necessarily like the big blockbuster, but just something you want us to react to, let us know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, follow us on Twitter. You know, hey, guacamole is extra. All the things you're supposed to say, just do it. And yeah. We appreciate you guys. We sure and do. Thank you for being our neighbors. Oh. It's a good way of wrapping it up. It thank sure you. is. It's nice. I liked that. Thanks, guys. That's normally something I would have made fun of you for, but it really warmed my heart. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys.